Hello, my name is Carlos Arango, uh, and I'm going to present microexpression spotting uh, with the use of the risk pyramid. So facial microexpressions are facial expressions which are very subtle and that are and well, that we do it uh, without uh, without even realizing. And it, they are very good for re revealing hidden emotions. However, the problem with this kind of emo of expressions is that they're very subtle and that they are very fast. So if you see for in this video, if you, fo you focus in that area, you will see. that there was a very, subtle mo a very subtle motion. So what we are proposing is to do a method which is able to detect these emotions using the risk pyramid. The risk pyramid is, is, is a method that I provide an approximation of the monogenic signal uh, for differing frequencies of bands. Uh, the good thing of this is that it allows us to, have, to get the local amplitude and the oriented phase for each pixel for different subbands. However, the problem is with this method is that uh, not all the levels of the pyramid will provide relevant information for microexpressions, and also that uh, the oriented phase, which is the one that you could use to, um, to detect the emotion, it might be very noisy in certain areas, especially the areas that have low amplitude. So we propose a method in which we take a video, we, which, uh, uh, we take a video, we detect the phase, uh, we crop those faces, and then we also detect uh, facial landmarks using a method of active appearance model uh, to, uh, to create some regions of interest. Then what we do is that we take those faces and we transform it with the risk pyramid, and we take the oriented face, and the amp we could take the oriented face and the amplitude. With the oriented face, we just apply a filtering scheme, and we take the amplitude and the regions of interest, and we create some amplitude masks, and then we use this mask to to isolate uh, uh, five different areas of the face, the eyes of the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth. And then what we do is that we do this for every frame, and we create five signals. Uh, we create five one-dimensional signals for all, the, uh, for all the video. The idea is to detect peaks or local maxima as the moment where the microexpression could happen. However, there are some moments and some other motions in the face, like, for example, eye blinks, or eye movements that might be uh, considered, uh, that might be considered by our system, but they are not actually microexpressions. So in order to do that, we create a system for discard these, for discard these movements. Uh, the method goes as follows: we take the five signals for, uh, we divide it into into types of signals: the one for the eyes and the one for the eyebrows and the mouth. What we do is that we detect uh, the we detect the peaks that go over a certain threshold, and then we just create, uh, we take the five groups and we just divide it into two groups, one just for the eyes and then another one for the eyebrows on the mouth. And we take the possible peaks in the eyebrows on the mouth and we, uh, as possible microexpression, and we compare with the ones in the eyes and the ones that coincide with this garden and the ones that are left are considered as microexpressions. So the way that we decided to do the, um, the way that, the way that we decided to do the evaluation is using rock curves, in which we compare the true positive and the true positive rate versus the false positive rate, and as a measurement we use the area under the curve. So uh, we compare with the state of the art and our our methods uh, comparing to histogram of oriented features or LPP methods that there are. Around our method uh, proved to be better. Uh, we also use a parameter sensitivity. We perform a parameter sensitivity analysis in which we check what were the impact of the uh, of the pyramid level selection in the accuracy, and also we check the robustness of our method. Uh, by changing different parameters, uh, we, I can tell you more about it uh, in the poster. Uh, please don't forget to come by and thank you for your attention.